morning, Taiwan. Tuo Cruz here, bright and early here in Taipei. And we've got a big fun ride in store for today. Today we're going to be riding to, if I can pronounce this correctly, the Jiaofen Old Street, which is one of the more popular tourist destinations here in Taipei. It's about a 100 kilometer round trip, maybe a little bit more from where we are in downtown Taipei. And we're both pretty tired because we had a late night last night going to the uh, Shili Night Market with Tuan and her family. Anyway, it's a long day. We've got a lot of sights to show you guys, so let's get on the road and get started. Checking in, first checkpoint of the day. We're here at some intersection on the outskirts of Taipei and we're going along Highway 106. Pretty standard route here for cyclists here in Taipei. This is the main convenience store stop. We've got the 7-Eleven and Family Mart right next to each other at the intersection. The cool gate over here. We're about to start the main climb going into the mountains heading towards Jiaofen and there's also a waterfall that we're hoping to ride by as well today but we think there's going to be some serious climbing. Tuing's really tired right now because I've been making her ride a ridiculous amount <laughs> this last week so it's also really hot it's about 34 degrees celsius right now really bright sunlight as you can see barely any clouds in the sky right now nice blue sky just stopped to take a quick restroom break here and the restroom is here in the second floor of the convenience store another cool thing up here they have a nice little dining area. I didn't know about this. This is the second or third time I've been here, but the first time I've used the bathroom and checked the dining area. You can see this has a nice overlook of the mountain area, the road that we just came up. Really beautiful area here, starting to get deep in the mountains. We're also here with Quinn, who we met the... When did we meet? Two days ago? Two days ago. Yeah. Just saw you on the bike trail, fan of the channel. <laughs> right. He's our first fan to ever approach us while we're out in out in the streets, I guess. And we saw him on the cycling path, the river path here, while we did our cycling vlog around Taipei and up to, what, Tom Sui, what's the correct pronunciation? Dan Shui. Dan, oh, I'm completely off, Tom Sui, Dan Shui. Just the way it's spelled. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, so anyway, he'll be joining us today and we'll be heading towards the Jiaofen, what's the correct pronunciation? Jiaofen. Uh, Jiaofen. <laughs> Jiaofen, we'll be heading to Jiaofen today. We're about to enter the mountains, so it's gonna be a fun, hot, sweaty day of climbing. And it is hot. <laughs> It's hot. Looking forward to it. Let's get back on the road. Checkpoint number two, making our way through the ridiculously hot mountain pass. Absolutely sizzling out there. We're taking shelter in a nice little temple area, Chinese style temple. Tung's taking a quick nap. She's really tired. And another interesting thing you'll see here is they have basketball at the temples here in Taiwan. Quick little break in the shade and then back on the road. We've made it to the Shifen waterfall and unfortunately we thought we could ride our bikes right up to it but you gotta walk a little bit about 500 meters. Not too bad so we're gonna rest our bikes here and Quinn's gonna take a quick break here and just watch our bikes for us since he's already uh, seen the park. We're gonna walk over this suspension bridge. Brutally hot today. Here's the bridge. Ooh, there's some sway here. Here's the view of the suspension bridge from over here on the other side. Looks like we're gonna go up some stairs. Got another bridge to cross. Looks like there's a train track over here as well. Don't think that one's still in use, but maybe, who knows. These cute little donkey things. Not sure why, maybe some historic reason. A lot of these guys have their, their mouths taped shut. Not sure why, if anyone knows why, leave it in the comments. 
Lots of kind of gift shops and restaurants along the way, sort of blocking your path to get there. We've arrived at the Sheepman Waterfalls. Absolutely beautiful view here. All right, we gotta book it back. Long road still, long mountain ahead to Jalpin, which is where we're going next. The climbing here, it's pretty brutal. Just plotted this route in Google Maps, didn't really account for the elevation, but this climb's really steep. We've been climbing pretty insanely on this steep hill for quite a while. Really hot, direct sunlight, brutal. Ouch. Nice views though. Brutal climb, eh? Ah, oh, brutal. <laughs> Definitely. I think this might be one of Tuong's biggest climbing days. Today, we might be pushing Tuong's breaking point for <laughs> enjoying cycling, but hopefully it'll all be worth it in the end once we get over to the old historic street and get some food in our stomachs. It's about one o'clock right now, so we're kind of at the peak of the heat right now, unfortunately. We're gonna cool off a little bit right now, get a quick break in, then back on the road and hopefully check back in at the historic street. We've passed a lot of roads that appear to be the crest. This one looks more promising than the rest. Nice view of the mountains. You can see we're way higher than all the other mountains. I'm curious to see the elevation profile later. Is this the crest? Is this the crest? Is this the crest? It looks like it might be. It looks like a downhill. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Here we are, we've arrived in Daifeng area. We just passed by the train station, which is where you normally arrive if you come here from Taipei by train. And then you gotta grab one of these buses from these bus stops, and then it'll take you up this road, up into the mountains, which we're heading towards right now. And you'll get to the old Jalpin historical street. We're not normal people though, so we're taking our bikes. Better than the window of a bus seat, better than the window of a train seat. Beautiful river here. Lots of beautiful bridges. Today has been full of blistering hot, steep climbs. We're hopefully climbing up our last climb of the day. Kind of got this sort of highway-ish style road. A bit busy as you can see. Lots of taxis and lots of touring buses going by to travel people up to the historic spot. tung has been an absolute champion today, pushing through all these climbs. We're gonna get her some delicious food once we get up to the top. Let's take a quick look up here. So you can see the view over the side. We're getting a nice view of the ocean. Beautiful view, but really painful climb. There's actually a pretty big temple over there in the side of the mountain. There's some hiking trails over there, I hear, but we're not going there today. At least there's a nice view this time. Oh man. just arrived at the normal bus stop. So if you take the bus up here, this is where it'll drop you off, which means we're just about to enter the main section. Parking our bikes real quick. Take a look at the view right here from the bus stop. Gorgeous view of the mountains and ocean. We finally arrived at our destination. We're parking the bikes up here, actually right in front of the police station since they've got some cameras. So we figure our bikes will be a bit safer here than somewhere else. Anyway, we're really hungry, destroyed from the climb. About 75 Ks for us in the blistering sunlight the entire way, mostly Pretty climbing. Humid. Pretty humid. Pretty humid as well. And 100 kilometers for Quinn. He rode out to meet us earlier this morning and he hasn't eaten any carbs yet today, so I think he's suffering a bit more than we are. Anyway, first up, we're gonna find some food. Right next to the police station, we've got some stairs here, which will lead us up to where all the restaurants are and all the fun stuff is. I actually haven't taken these stairs before. The last time I just walked up the main road. 
On the stairs we found some nice fruit ice cream, or not ice cream, fruit popsicles. popsicles. So we're gonna get something. Tung really likes this fruit, the custard apple I guess is the name. So she's gonna get that one. What are you gonna get? Both are good. I'm gonna go pineapple. Pineapple. Wants pineapples are terrific. <laughs> All right, well, I'll go pineapple too. Pineapple too. Two pineapple. And uh, custard apple. Custard apple. Already 10 years since I won this company. Oh, really? Yeah. Mmm, great. From Taidong. Totally natural. Ah, mm. we just came from there. Yes. Do, what is she? Tabegata kawaii ne. I don't know. Ah, thank you. Continuing on, try and find more food. Loving these stairs. And here we are. This is the famous part with the view of the lanterns that really resembles the Hayao Miyazaki film Spirited Away. Probably the most popular spot here, most popular photo spot. Alright, Kokonoshioka. Oh wow. And this is the view we'll be dining next to. Not a bad way. Yeah, check out all these posters. Not a bad reward after today's hard work. What a view. What a view. Ne. E view da ne. Oh, this is open. This isn't even a window. This is open. Yep. Nice, nice breeze. Beautiful. Alright, let's order some food. Looks like they have quite a variety of things here. They do. A bit pricey, but worth it. Not terrible, really. Not, not horrible. Alright, let's see what we get. So we decided to go with the set meal here. Some of our first few items have arrived. This is a chicken, and what, this is cabbage mixed with some shrimp. River shrimp. Okay, and this is, I believe, for some rice. So we're gonna start digging in. We got some nice oolong tea as well, some nice chilled oolong tea. Itadakimasu. This is the milkfish, be careful, lots of bones. Milkfish, lots of bones. You gotta tell you, that's very, very small, thin bones, so you gotta okay. tell you why. Yep. But they're delicious. And what about these? Those sound terribly fine in Chinese, but sounds terrible when you translate it. Yeah, is this like ear or something? I'm gonna say intestines. Intestines, okay. Chitlin. <laughs> Tun's favorite. Kore suki desho? So this is going to be my first time ever trying uh, these kinds of intestines. Tung says in Vietnam they eat these every day for breakfast at her family, so we'll give it a try. It sounds so ugly when you say that. Oh, yeah. I say chitlins. Chitlins. Yeah. Mm, but there's a nice like pepper on these. Are it's really good. Mm. All right. If I didn't know what I was eating, I'd be perfectly content. Knowing what I'm eating, I'm a little bit weirded out, but the taste itself is really good. Just finished our meal. Walking along the historic street right now, you can see the beautiful view that we just enjoyed while we were eating our meal. And we're actually going to walk around a little bit before we eat dessert. So try and walk off some of the calories before we eat. You can see the sun starting to set, so that means we don't have enough time to ride back home today. We're actually going to take the train back, so we have kind of about 75, 80K in right now so far. So the plan was to ride back today, but unfortunately not enough time. Anyway, let's keep walking along. Lots of different things that you can find. Nice magnet collection. I used to collect magnets until my collection just got too big and troublesome to carry around with me. Might start up again though. Maybe we'll get a Taiwan magnet. These are kind of cute, the bubble tea keychain. About a buck fifty for those. Desato, 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 desato. are starting to come on. Time for us to go home before it gets too dark, before we run out of sunlight to get to the station.
Here we are at Daifeng Station. So beautiful descent all the way right back to the station. Nice sunset right now. This is perfect timing. So I didn't realize we weren't actually planning to take the train back, but it actually worked out really nicely because we got to see the nice sunset view going down the mountains and the lantern starting to be lit. We're going to get on the train and head back towards Taipei. We're not able to get off at Taipei, but we're going to get off at a separate station. Once we get there, I'll update you guys since I'm not actually sure right now myself. So it turns out that the next train that was leaving the station wasn't leaving for another three hours or so. So we had to ride our bikes down to the other station, Badu station, and by the time we got there it was dark. But good news was we were able to bring our bikes right on the train. We didn't have to deal with any bags or anything, which is unfortunately something that you have to do when cycling in Japan. We had a nice quick ride back to Taipei, and once we got out of the station we were greeted by another awesome night market, so we got some other food with Quinn. Unfortunately, this is going to be our last cycling vlog here on this trip in Taiwan. We had an amazing trip and there'll still be a few other videos from this trip before we leave, but this is our last big ride, so our last big video. Anyway, thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the video so far in this series and hope you continue to watch for the rest of the videos that we have coming forward. If you haven't already, consider subscribing so you can continue and watch the rest of the series or some of our new videos where we're living and cycling in Japan. That's going to be it for today. Another big thank you to Quinn for joining us on this ride. Uh, if you don't know Quinn, we just met him in one of our previous videos while we were cycling around Taipei, so a pretty crazy awesome encounter, and Quinn's a great guy. We've been hanging out with him a lot on this trip. Another big thank you to all of our patrons who help support this channel. If you're interested in helping support this channel so we can make more videos like this, go check out our Patreon page. Anyway, that's it for real this time. We'll see you in the next video.